Hey y'all, welcome back to my empty nest. Today we're going to be making some Christmas brunch charcuterie boards. Now these are the boards that I picked out to use and y'all, these things are expensive so we're going to talk about that a little later. Let's get into making these boards. Now starting off, I'm going to do the big charcuterie board. Now y'all know it's just me and the cat here and Lord knows the cat don't eat waffles. But this weekend, I had my grandbabies here. So they helped me make the stuff that we put on the board and they helped me pick out what they wanted on the board. So while they're in there playing and having a good time, I'm gonna put this little board together and then I'm gonna come let them just tear it apart. Cause that's what we do as Mimi's and Mama's and Nana's, isn't that right? So anyway, we're gonna get this all put together. We have scrambled us up some eggs and my bowl's probably a little bit too big for this board job, but you know what? We use what we got and we're just gonna go with it. So my babies wanted some muffins, so we made us some little mini muffins and they all made different flavors of their waffles, but that's gonna be in another video, y'all. So we threw us some sausage on this board. And y'all, I am not creative. I am not creative at all. I just kinda went with it. I just kinda did what looked right to me. So, you know what? I'm adding strawberries. That makes the whole board healthy. It completely cancels out them powdered donuts. Just act like you don't see the powdered donuts, y'all because them strawberries cancel those right on out. They take all the powdered donut calories right off the board, trust me. I'm a professional. I'm a medical professional, y'all, I know. So uh, we're gonna add some more fruit. Look, my babies are gonna be healthy because I promise you, honestly, they did eat more of the fruit than anything else. Look at me chasing blueberries. Y'all knew I was gonna have to chase something across this counter today, didn't you? So I just added a little of this and a little of that. We cooked up a little of everything. The good thing about these boards is you can really pick anything that you want. You could have put regular toast on here. You could have put different kind of eggs on here. You could have made some French toast and put on here. Anything would have been good, y'all. But this is just what we picked, so this is what we did. And it turned out really good, and the babies really enjoyed it. So you see me there just maneuvering, mixing this around and moving that around until it looks right. Now don't worry about that piece of board being cut off that y'all can't see because I'm going to show you the whole thing in a minute. But you just play around with it. Y'all, Look, I tried to make it a little healthier with that boiled egg, y'all, but it just didn't look right. So I had to take it right on back off. But this is what it ended up looking like. And y'all, I think it turned out pretty dang good. I'm not a professional, but I think it turned out real cute. Okay, y'all, today's video is in collaboration with Brandy over at Making It My Own DIYs. That's my sister, y'all, and she's the creative one in the family, so make sure that you go check her video out. I'm going to drop her link down in the description box below. She's going to show you how to take a thrifted cutting board and make a beautiful charcuterie board out of it. So if you're here from Brandy's channel, hello, welcome, and I'm so glad you're here. Now let's move on to our biscuit board, y'all. Now I had made these biscuits and gravy for another video and I'll drop that link down in the description box as well so y'all can go check that out when this video is over. And I just thought, you know what? We'll throw something together as a little brunch board, just a little one or two person brunch board and we'll make it all about biscuits. We'll find some stuff that goes good on a darn biscuit, y'all. So, I got some Canadian bacon, and I've got some regular bacon, and I've got some cheese, and then we have some jelly, some butter, and some honey. And y'all, this these were so good. Look at mm -mm, y'all, blueberries. Them, blue, them blueberries did not know how to act all day. I chased darn blueberries all over the kitchen, and then I stepped on them. I had blueberries squishing between my toes later, y'all, where they had hit the darn floor. But anyway, that's another story for another day. So just add all your little stuff on here. Once you get all your little biscuit makings, then put you some little, little sides on there. Put you some fruit, because, of course, as long as you're adding fruit, you're canceling out the carbs and the calories of everything else on the board. 
We're going to, even though we know fruit has carbs and calories, we're going to act like we don't know that. So, like I said, we're just going to take, you know, we're, we're going to do what we want to do, y'all. It's, it's, it's not that much food. So, just do what you want. Put what you want on there. And this, me and this strawberry, y'all, honey, we had words. Do you hear me? That strawberry did not want to act right. I had to swap it out for a smaller one. But then I found a spot for it because I felt bad for it. Had to add it back on there. So this is what we ended up with. Y'all, this was really good. I snacked on this. Now look, if you're enjoying my video, make sure that you subscribe because I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 o'clock Central Time. Now, this last board that we're going to do, I wanted to give y'all some ideas, different size boards, different style boards, and just maybe some different little options on the boards. Now, this is some whipped um, strawberry cream cheese, and it's really good on these bagels that we're going to use. You know, I had to clean it up. You know, presentation is everything, y'all. But, y'all, look at this little cutting board. Isn't that beautiful? My little brother made that. Look, the other kids in the family are so much more creative and talented than I am. I'm just winging it. I'm over here on a wing and a prayer, y'all. But anyway, I thought, you know, since it is just me and the cat here, I'm not always going to need a big, huge charcuterie board, so let me make some smaller ones. And that way, if you're like me and you're by yourself, or it's just two of you at home, you have some options that are not you know, something that's going to feed a crowd. You can have, you know, you can make these just for one or two people. You don't have to be having some kind of big elaborate get together. You can pour you a glass of wine or a glass of water or a glass of whatever you drink, a cup of coffee, make you a little brunch board and just, you know, sit on the couch in your darn pajamas watching Netflix and, and snacking and grazing off of your board all day. And that way, you don't even have to get up and cook later. No dishes to wash. Y'all, this is the perfect, the perfect alternative. Look, you just don't use blueberries because they won't act right. Ugh, them blueberries. Ooh, I fought them things all day. But anyway, so this was pretty much it, y'all. I just, again, throw you some fruit on there to cancel out the carbs and all that bread. Could put you an extra couple pieces of bacon because, you know... You can't have too much bacon. Well, I mean, I guess you can have too much bacon. But not on, we're going to pretend like you can't have too much bacon. So, this is what it turned out looking like. And I think this one turned out super cute too, y'all. And I'm going to throw a video up, or a little clip, not a whole video, right after this. I did make one more of these little small boards with, you know, some different things on there. Just to kind of give you some different options. And this is just a little single person board you know just enough for one person just have you a little breakfast or a little brunch thank you guys for hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was a little bit different and i hope y'all have a great day